What do you think happens when you go to sleep? Imagine just as you're falling asleep and you can feel yourself leaving one consciousness or state of consciousness and going into another. And that's what I want to capture here with this painting. I want, I want her physical body to look and feel as though she's asleep and I want her spirit to be looking back at her where the consciousness is in the spirit body acknowledging her own physical presence before she goes off somewhere into the land of sleep. Isn't it exciting? What have we got to do? We've got to capture the physical form of the person and we've got to capture the spirit and we've got to kind of capture the, the the sleep energy as well that, that surrounds the person. The only way really I think that to capture that sleep energy is to use fine art techniques. And that gives me a bit of space, doesn't it, for the arm there. So that that's her head and the body will go sort of off into the distance there so it'll be bigger here and I'll discover her. That's the whole purpose. Now I'm going to actually now start creating this being. As I said before, I don't want any of the bodies, the physical one or the spirit one, to be, you know, photographic. It's got to congeal out of the energy. So it's the sleep energy that I'm trying to get at the moment. And then the leg up there, and that's a nice diagonal, isn't it? And an arm. Ooh, I'm starting to like it. If I just say mark something like where her breast might be, abstracty kind of look at this stage. Sleep energy, lots of it. Now, her spirit is in here somewhere, and that paint allows me to, to bring forth this spirit. This will do it. Now, let's just see what happens. I have no idea myself. There we go, and some more. Yes, he's somewhere in there, isn't she? Okay, the idea here is for this energy to come down and affect this person below. I think the body is somewhere in here, with the backside there, and up into a leg. Here is, for instance, the shoulder. The breast then will be down in here, won't it? Searching all the time. Don't know what for, but I'll find it. There's going to be blues and everything in it, but I want this base of harmony first. There we are, just a little bit more gold in. Maybe foreshorten this arm here and put some fingers. And the other hand, of course, will come out here somewhere, I guess, you know. We'll get the exact placement of it first, which I think will sort of be here. It's a little bit flying through the air, but I don't mind that, actually. Jeez, what it does to me is just amazing when you can get atmosphere or at least feel it, you know, when you can feel the first stages of it. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, now I'm adding the white. And this will make a huge difference to the whole canvas. Let's do some rag work.
Now I just want to use some very creative strokes here. Try and energise this a little more. Somewhere the spirit is in there. Changing quickly, isn't it? Let's do the rag work, give it a hit, who cares? See what happens, I can just feel the need to expand it now. It's what we want. We're into it, look at that. Beautiful strokes. Oh, this is stronger too, doesn't matter. We can have some control over it once it's on, but I don't want to. I want to just be free. You know, I just want to be free. Woohoo, there's some colour in it. That's fantastic. This is the softness that I'm after. She's all finished. This painting took the best part of a year from start to finish if you crammed up all the months to complete. That includes drying time. Two little things to do. It only takes a few moments and then we're done. Even though this is a spirit, I want it to be a little bit more like a human face. And just teasing the some curves into the face here. These blue lines mark where the dimensions are broken between the spirit world and the physical world, as do the gold, of course. Sensational thing to do. That's it, it's finished. There are paintings around the studio. Let's get into them.